Hi Pisces, it's Abby. Welcome to your reading. Gonna do a little energy check-in for you guys today. Hope you're well and safe wherever you are. Okay, just want to take a little peek into what the collective might be dealing with whenever you tune into this, okay? If this isn't your read, I have a whole playlist of over 300 timeless reads. Feel free to check those out too. Uh, your message might be in there. Okay, so let's take a little look-see. No, I wanna pull from the middle for some reason. Let's take a look at what is going on here. I'm using, this is the Mystical Palette Tarot. I have a link to the Etsy store where I bought it in the description down below. I think I'll use the same deck to clarify also. Eight of Swords hanging out the bottom of your deck here, Pisces. So, all right, decisions, decisions, this feels like. Uh, you could be overthinking something. I feel like there is a dilemma. Um, and it feels like whatever this is, you really, with this, Six of Swords energy being your main energy, I'm seeing this as something that you, you're trying to approach from a few different angles. I feel like you're trying to be as fair and authoritative as you can be, but at the same time, there's a sense of like, I just want out of this. Now, let's take a look. Yeah, um, you know, your emotions are involved with King of Cups energy, Pisces. Um, this also shows me that you probably are not necessarily expressing to people that you probably have a plan of moving on or in your heart, um, you feel like something is gonna be in your rear view really soon, okay? Um, now this could be something that you might be overthinking quite a bit or you could be looking at from so many different angles that it's starting to feel like you're not really sure if there's actually a winning way to go about it. Um, but what you're being encouraged to focus on is emperor energy. So this is really kind of taking um, taking authority and healthy authority, okay? Uh, could be an Aries person involved possibly, or you could have some Aries placements in your charts, but the, the emperor in their good energy is confident because they have built through experience a very stable and strong foundation. They've been through things before, they've fought a lot of battles, um, they've been a decision maker, they've, they've had to go through all kinds of trials and tribulations, and they know that, hey, I'm on a firm, like, footing here because I've I've done what I needed to do to earn that right and I feel like that's what it's trying to tell you here knight of cups the time's right the time's right to follow whatever it feels like in your heart is best for you okay could also be maybe water sign energy for some of you this could have to do with things like love and relationships it could have to do now when I say relationships that's any kind of relationship um even not like unromantic platonic relationships, right? Um, having friendships can be a very deep experience and that would be cups energy. We don't have to be in love with people for cups to be the energy that shows up. So I feel like um, whatever this is for you, whether it might be ringing to you of a situation, perhaps something that you put a lot of love and care into, you're thinking a lot about, you know, just I feel like the, uh, like it's a romantic energy, it's very nice. You can, you can stabilize it too, which is nice to see. Your challenges are the Five of Swords. So I feel like there might be some sort of situation that is, I feel like you're kind of escaping from something here, you know? Um, now, I feel like there might be a little bit of oppositional energy. I don't know if this is around you, if it's an internal thing, or if you have a self-sabotaging side that maybe likes to come in here and... Um, tell you that you can't do it or that no matter what you do it's not going to work or something like that um, but it feels like that kind of energy is there standing up for yourself Pisces um, in a healthy and positive way that also gains you some attention this is a card of valor absolutely because um, I feel like there's a difference between five of swords energy this is interesting because it feels like Five of Swords energy can be self-sabotaging, it can be self, uh, selfish, it can be um, when we do things for our own self-interest only. So you could be having those feelings, either someone could be saying those things for you or you could be having like an internalized kind of battle there. Rising up and rising to the occasion is more Seven of Wands, right? So I feel like that is you kind of raising up above the, like the rest and putting yourself at an advantage 
recognizing your vantage point as being something that is um, of an advantage to you. <laughs> and I think something you earned, you climbed that, right? Um, yeah, I like it. Your direction from spirit, we have Hierophant energy. So this feels like a learning and educational kind of energy. For some reason, kings to the kingdom it came into my head for some reason. There could be some kind of, this is a Taurus card, Taurus energy. What about it? How should they do it? Okay. Um, so for some of you, I feel like this is... If there are any sort of uh, gatherings, social things that might be coming up, family related, uh, I don't know, weddings, this can, like both of these cards together can scream wedding to me. I feel like this is for you to show up in your very best energy, right? Like whatever this is for you. Um, showing up as the best version of yourself, having authority, knowing that you have learned a lot, you know what you know, Right? You don't necessarily have to be tight-fisted and controlling. You don't have to necessarily like hierophant energy when it's uh, feeling low level. It can be sort of like, oh, feeling controlled by certain things. This is the way we've always done it. This is the way we will do it. Um, I feel like this is you elevating that energy in a way and making it more harmonious. Really nice to see. Your strength, interestingly, is the Three of Swords. So... I feel like that's a healing energy for you, Pisces. Um, you may very well have some disappointments that you are currently healing from, but I feel like you're not, you're not running, I don't think, to have any, you know, awkward conversations or difficult conversations with anyone. I feel like you're making, yeah, what are you? Yeah. Okay. So I, this feels very quiet. <laughs> Queen of, uh, sorry, a uh, high priestess energy there. Now this feels like whatever disappointment may have prompted this sort of feeling of like, you know what? I have moved on emotionally from whatever this thing is. I'm just figuring out the details of how to detach from it. I'm trying not to get into any kind of beating myself up or thing, you know, whatever it is. Um, I feel like that's very silent. It's very mysterious. There's something about you, I feel, Pisces, um, at least the Pisces that this is for, that is very generous, even though um, others may disappoint you and may not always bring the best energy about. I feel like your strength is going to be in res like spending that energy on yourself. And it's going to be a bit of like a low-key glow up um this feels a little bit like your strength revolves around you know king of cups energy is known for not necessarily being super emotionally uh communicable right they don't necessarily say what's on their mind or in their heart all the time they're very mature with their emotions so it feels like if someone here has disappointed you or shown themselves um, to be in an oppositional energy and you might be in your head a little bit of how to deal with it I feel like your strength here is showing Pisces that you're going to take that generosity that you have and you're going to take it wherever it's worthy and until you find a, you know people places and things that are worthy of receiving that energy you're going to be pouring it into yourself and it's going to create this sort of aura of who is that <laughs> Uh, I think it gets you noticed kind of quietly, kind of quietly in this really interesting kind of way. How it all comes together. We have King of Swords energy here. So I feel that this is showing possibly it could be some air sign energy, right? But it's basically becoming very victorious, standing up for yourself, being a, a trustworthy decision maker. Yes. Yeah. See? Like, rather than sitting in a Two of Swords kind of, like, energy of, oh, I'm not really sure, stand off, that kind of thing, you're going to be able to make whatever decision that this is pointing to here. And you're going to choose correctly for yourself. I feel like the thing that will hurt um, more, yeah, is not necessarily taking the lead in that, is, um, yeah, 
You got Queen of Wands. This is so much confidence. I feel like it's it's sort of like, do I be cold or do I be fiery? Do I do I fight or do I um, detach? I feel like um, feeling into your heart is going to be the most helpful thing for you. You have the hermit at the end there. So you've gone through a lot here, Pisces. You've grown a lot. I feel like for some of you also, this may indicate that whatever the situation is, um, you may have to behave a little. I have this sense of you being like sort of reserved in the face of someone who uh, tries to kind of like get your goat. You know what I mean? Like tries to maybe um, escalate things. And I feel like part of that has to do with jealousy, to be completely honest. Um jealousy for how you have come through the fire jealousy for how you have still managed to raise above in some kind of way this feels like someone who wants to have achieved what you have and i feel like someone here is confused pisces so it could be you know i don't know co-worker sibling hopefully not a romantic partner could be though right um parents even who knows but there's this kind of sense I'm getting of dealing with someone who's like, how come they don't want what I have? Or how come I'm left wanting what they have? Like, it's like someone who has a sense of entitlement or superiority, but that's not being backed up by like their personal integrity or um, their own behavior, their own path in life. And I feel like you've already mentally started to really disconnect from this. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully that made sense to whoever it needs to make sense to. Pisces, I'm going to get you a little moon energy. It's the 13th today, even though this is technically a timeless reading, so it's full moon and Capricorn time. Ah, step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, I can see that, your north node. I feel like, Pisces, this is showing you that... You know, our north node, um, we're comfortable usually in the south node, right? And this is, I think it's telling you, like, go go the other direction. Go to the stuff that you're going to grow into. If you usually kind of um, overthink and put off, start taking action. Um, yeah, beautiful energy. Love you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one, okay? Bye now.